guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Pamela aka Pamazon Woodia and today I have a patchwork jacket made with pre-stitched letters and I show you how to add fabric to create an image that you want. This is great for sorority members, fraternity members, friends, um, bridesmaids, um, if you just want to make something for the spring, um, if you want to rep Wakanda or different patches that you want to put on it or sometimes you can't find the particular patch that you want, I show you how to make your own patch essentially. You do not have to use Wakanda, I did it for this particular project but you can swap it out with any word for letters, numbers, shapes. So if you're interested and want to know how to make your own spring jacket or jacket with patches, stay tuned. For this project, you will need a jacket or a coat, some iron-on letters, some scissors, some fabric that you want for your background, some stiffened felt, some permanent fabric glue, outline of a shape that you will trace, an iron to set the letters, and optional is 3D fabric glue. Now let's get started. So I bought this jacket at a Goodwill and it was about $15.99. Um, honestly, if you go to the Goodwill, it'll be a great place for you to find pieces. If you go to Google and you type in outline of blank, you'll be able to find any shape that you want. Obviously for this project, I wanted it to be about Wakanda, so I found an outline of Africa. Then you want to take some stiffened felt, and as you can see, this is a little tougher than regular felt, and it actually says stiffened felt on the back of it. I just found this easier to work with and to cut for the outline. So you want to lay out the piece that you want, and then you're going to trace it so that you'll be able to cut it. Do not use a white marker or pencil like I did. I did that purely so that you guys can see, but it actually turned into a pain in the butt um, when I cut it out. So I'll actually cover that later but I wanted you to be able to see my outline. Next you want to glue your stiffen felt onto your regular felt and this is what's going to help to create that white shadow box effect. You don't have to line um, the white felt. I just did it first because I wasn't sure how I wanted to do it but I don't recommend it because when you want to go and glue it then you're in this awkward situation where you have to line it up exactly like I was trying to do and um, you don't need to line it first but I was happy look at it it fit in the box and after you glue it down you want to press evenly on both sides because you want to make sure that the glue spreads between the felt pieces Give it like five minutes to dry and then you can cut around the edges. Um, I obviously like usual never measure. I just go based off of how much white I want it to show underneath it and I cut it to my satisfaction. I'm sure by now you guys see why using white eyeliner pencil to trace out my outline was not the brightest idea, but it's fine. I don't regret it. I'm going to cover it anyway, um, but again, wanted you guys to be able to see the initial piece. So your outline should not have white edges. Once I was done with my outline, I laid out the fabric and started playing around with folding the edges so that I wouldn't have any fraying of the material and it was just playing around with how big I wanted the square to be. So um, just figure out what works best for you and then you can cut the size that you want. If you are following my method, do keep in mind that wherever you cut, you are going to have to fold so the square is going to be a little bit smaller than the piece that you actually cut. When you're done cutting the square, you can always play around with the folds and the size and the arrangement before you actually secure anything. And I found it helpful to lay out all of the letters first just to play around with it. You don't have to secure it just to get an idea of how big or small I wanted the square to be as well as where I wanted to secure um, my Africa. When you figured out the arrangements for the square, then you want to iron it because you want it to be as smooth as possible before you glue it down. And this is what it looks like when it's done, and I told you it was driving me crazy. I just used the 3D paint to cover up the white marks on the outline of Africa. Next, we're going to take our fabric square and arrange it properly, and we are going to start gluing it along the edges, and then we're going to fill in the middle. So definitely make sure you as precise as possible because this glue is semi-flexible, but it's not really forgiving, and when it dries, it has almost a, a shiny look to it, and when you're dealing with a fabric like a black satin jacket, you don't want it to look messy. 
So glue down the square patch and then you're going to glue down your outline afterwards. Place it carefully down and again you only have a little bit of wiggle room so definitely be careful when you're placing it but you can adjust it a little bit. Make sure you tap it down when you are done and secure all parts of your outline of the felt. Next we want to work on the placement of our letters and because Wakanda is evenly spaced on both sides of the A, I just use the A as my center mark, remove the plastic backing and then placed it down in the center and that was what I used to judge how much space I wanted on either sides of the letters. I did all of this, I super winged it, like no measuring tape, anything. I just used my eyes that the good Lord gave me and try to figure it out. You are more than welcome to use a measuring tape or a ruler. Um, I wanted a little bit of an arch between the letters. Peel off the backings, start with the middle and the end pieces and then fill your way in from there. And I did the same thing for the bottom letters as well. And I know you're probably wondering why this letter is blue, but um, Wakanda Forever is a lot of letters to get in the craft store and they ran out of the black and white ones. I was not deterred. You can get another color. Um, blue works better than red um, and I will show you guys how you can cover it and fix it in a second. But you want to peel off all the plastic backings and when you peel it off they're basically like giant stickers so press them down onto the fabric and then we're going to take either a washcloth or a cotton like pillowcase put it down on top of the letters and you're going to iron it i don't recommend doing it directly onto the the stickers because i don't know how it'll take with the heat but make sure you do it for the bottom and the top and just use some type of protective covering. My heat setting was on cotton because I was ironing on top of a cotton washcloth, one that I was not very worried about, and you wanna flip the jacket inside out and iron only the letters. I didn't put the heat on um, my Africa patch or where the glue was, only on top of the letters. And once I was done with the iron, I used a black Sharpie to cover up the blue on this iron-on patch and it looks just like the other ones. It blends in beautifully. And you guys, that's it. It's that simple to make this jacket. So now that we've made the jacket, it's time for the warrior word of the day. Today's warrior word of the day is choices. Now the reason why I chose choices is because when I'm trying to design this jacket there were so many different concepts that I thought of and different styles and I'll show you guys some of them that literally came down to four of my favorite choices and I had such a hard time picking. So you'll see the A, B, C, and D. I'm gonna flash those on the screen for you to see. Um, and honestly, when I was creating it, I was so stuck and it led to such a delay. Really, it took me a few days for me to decide what I wanted to do. And I had a conversation with someone who um, basically said, people need to stop making Wakanda themed things. And that hurt me because obviously I have a whole DIY project. <laughs> Are people still rocking with Wakanda forever? I mean, it literally, how can something be over and it says forever in the words? Okay, it says Wakanda forever. Not for the spring, forever. But I digress. Someone can say something about your project, your vision, your goal that will create self-doubt. And the reality is done is better than perfect. And stop asking for permission. Stop asking for permission and stop telling people the things that I want to create ahead of time because ultimately the choice is not theirs. The choice should be yours. Be careful who you talk to about the options that you have or the direction that you want to go in your life because at the end of the day, the choice is yours and not theirs. So I hope you guys enjoyed my tutorial. I hope that you also enjoyed the warrior word of the day. Like, comment, and subscribe. And if you did not see my last video, definitely check it out. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.